Okay, so not having it in the game caviar studios. I'm rocking with Killzone 3. A new video straight from the archives. No, I just recorded this earlier today. And there's a reason why I recorded a Killzone 3 video this weekend on the PSN. You can download, yes, any of you can go on there and download the Killzone 3 multiplayer component for free off PSN this weekend. Now, there is a stipulation. You can only rank up so high and then you have to pay 14 uh, 14.95 something i don't know around that 14 to 15 dollars it's well worth the money because as you can see this game is awesome single player is amazing if you haven't played kill zone and you don't know the storyline um but you're interested because of this awesome video i would download the uh, do they have a demo they have a demo but i would download the multiplayer version and just play around with it and see if this is some type of game that you could see yourself playing now right now i'm about to give me a nice three piece right here well a nice kill streak of three and i had to mix it up because it's not every day that i get these types of kill streaks and kill zone i had a kill streak of five another game yesterday but it didn't get recorded of course all first person shooters that have some sort of theater mode i'm just saying anyway um if you're liking the video and you like the channel please take time out to subscribe it only takes uh, a second of your time and it's completely free uh we at game caviar are trying to take our channel to the next level and get partnered sometime this year and in order for us to do that we need two things we need more subscribers and more views so um while you're watching the video please take time to click subscribe and i'm going to thank you all in advance for doing that i really appreciate it we've gained a, a bunch of subscribers in the past week and i want to thank everybody for joining the channel and getting on this game caviar train because we're here and we are for real now back to kill zone i like this game and i would really like to see another kill zone game if not a kill zone i would like to see another first person shooter from uh gorilla games the company that uh is responsible for kill zone and i would I, I just would like to see i like the way they put together games i like how they do games and i like the fact that they are playstation exclusive because the playstation is uh technically the better console and they can do a lot more with their games on ps3 with that being said i want to see another gorilla game it probably won't happen until the next generation of consoles comes out but what i would like to see in the meantime is a gorilla game on the playstation vita it can happen they're coming out with a resistance game on the vita later on this year and i would also i would love to see a kill zone game on the vita if not kill zone then some sort of gorilla game Hell, I'd like to see Heavy Rain on the Vita. I like the Vita. I bought a Vita 3G version, and it's amazing. And one thing that kind of I noticed was that the 3G speeds on a Vita are way faster than they are on my phone. It's the same network, both AT&T. I don't know how that works. I, I, don't, I don't know how the specifications of the mobile network works differently between the two devices, but I'd like to make note of that, so... If you're thinking about getting a Vita and you're on the fence, I would definitely get one. If not, go to your local GameStop and play with the model that they have on the floor. They should have one. That the one the GameStop that I use that I usually go to, they had a model on the floor that I played around with. I played the Uncharted game, and it was crazy amazing. I was already planning on getting one, but after I actually had my hands on one. It was unbelievable. And now that I have one, I'm, it, it, I can't put enough good words towards the Vita. It is amazing. I, one thing that I noticed, I hope that they get more apps, you know, because they have Netflix and Google Maps, Flickr, and a, a Twitter service. But I want to see them have more apps. HBO Go, Hulu Plus, uh, apps like that. Uh, but anyway, I'll, I'll talk more about the Vita in a uh, Vita video that I'm going to make either later on tonight or tomorrow. So, back to Killzone. If you notice, 
the gun that I'm using for everybody who likes to play Modern Warfare 3. This is Killzone's version of the PP90M1, the very popular SMG that is in Modern Warfare 3. I didn't notice that, but after playing Call of Duty and then coming back to playing Killzone, I was like, hey, this gun looks familiar. This is the PP90M1. It's still fast. It still shoots very fast. And it still is... Um, it's fairly powerful, but the thing that is... It makes Killzone very unique is that hip firing works extremely well in this game And you'll see me a bunch of times just use hip firing because it works Amazingly well in this game, which is awesome. And I like that uh, And I don't know why I don't remember it working that well in Killzone 2 it may but I think that They made it work so well in this game because you can use the uh, PlayStation move and you don't have to worry about zooming in and everything you just point and shoot which is awesome and i haven't used the move in this game yet but i'm currently charging up the two components i have the gun so i'm charging up the two components so i can go ahead and try it later on uh i've used the move in, on socom and it didn't really work out too well i found the controls to be confusing and it really hampered my gaming experience hopefully i don't think i'll have that problem with Killzone because of how good it is how how well the hip firing is so game caviar is a channel we had a awesome show last night if you can log on to blogtalkradio.com and search for game caviar we have an amazing show that comes on every Saturday at 6.30 p.m. And yesterday I hosted the show and I talked about the difference between the, the ratings that are given out to video games and what parents can do to make sure that their children aren't playing games that are rated mature or rated at a higher age level than they than the, the kids usually are. And I was saying that anytime I get on call of duty there's always some kid that you know is too young to be playing that game on there and you know cursing up a storm and everything but log on to blog talk radio search for game caviar go on facebook do the same thing search for game caviar like that page we update um the facebook page a lot almost every day if not every day then it's it's six out of seven days of the week it's way quicker for us to go on to facebook and update a post than it is for us to produce a whole video now that doesn't mean we're going to scale back on making videos because we won't we're still going to make the same amount of videos but facebook is another way for all of our fans to keep in touch with us now right here i just got a ribbon for faster reload one of the things that i hated about using this gun is that it takes forever to reload and a lot of times i get caught in gunfire while reloading so I finally got the faster reload uh, ribbon, and guess what? The damn match ended. So I was like, this is just bittersweet. Anyway, this video is over. Like, comment, please subscribe. Like I said, we're trying to become partners this year with some faction, um, and we need more subscribers and more views. So please subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to thank you all in advance because I know I know you guys are going to get down with this Game Caviar train. Anyway, I'm not having it in the Game Caviar studio. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.